Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Claudia. So today I'm going to be doing the review on these Louis Vuitton slides. These are the Bomb Dia Flat Mule uh, sandals. You know what? These have been out for some time now, but you know, I wanted to do a review. I've had them for a little bit now, but you know what? These are one of my favorite uh, slides that I actually wear. You know, I don't know if you're like me, but I, I feel like sometimes I find these styles not necessarily Louis Vuitton, but they always tend to hurt my feet. You know, I will say I have some Birkenstocks that I absolutely love and they do not hurt my feet whatsoever. But these, you know, I was a little bit worried about if they were going to be comfortable or if they were going to hurt my feet and would it take some time to break them in and things like that. So I want to share just my experience. I've had these for about six months now. Um, I do want to first just go through just some general information about these and then I do want to do some model shots for you but then I also want to share my experience if I think they're comfortable and if they do take some time to get used to because that's always a question that I have when I'm looking for sandals. So I'll go ahead and get started. I'll show you. I mean, they're both obviously they're identical. They look the same. So I will try to show you both of them together. But this is what they look like. So of course they've got the canvas there. And the really cool thing about these shoes is that it does have all the gold hardware, all canvas, and it does have three sizes. So you can adjust them. If you have a little bit wider feet or if your feet are just a little bit bigger, you can definitely adjust them. I keep them on, on the medium. You can see I have them on, on the medium and they fit me perfectly. I do will say I do not have wide feet. I have, and I wouldn't say my feet are very narrow. They're just, I think, regular and average, but I do keep them in the middle. You know, it has the, the gold hardware, you can probably see, I'll get as close as I can, you know, with the camera having to focus. I don't know if you can see it, but right here, you can see it's, it does say Louis Vuitton right here. It's engraved on both of them. So it does have the Louis Vuitton there and it has a really pretty canvas. I think it's super cute. I will say when you look at them together, you can see that the pattern is pretty, pretty similar. I mean, you might see a little bit of, of, of differences, but overall they do look pretty similar, I think. I don't see any, any major issues. Sometimes you'll see the canvas looks different on one side, but on this one, you can see that the shoes are pretty identical. They look pretty, pretty even. Maybe a little off, I mean, because obviously the canvas is not going to be exact, but it doesn't look really off, and I think they're pretty cool like that. I will say it's all leather. The bottoms of these shoes, I will show you my bottoms. I have worn these a few times. I haven't worn, I, I can't say that I've worn them 20 times, but I will say that I've worn them about five times uh, this year. So I will show you the bottoms. This is what the bottoms look like. You can see all the little, the little marks from, you know, stepping on the concrete and then the floors and stuff like that. But you know what I will say is that even though it doesn't really have like a whole lot of grip, it's just like one like slab of leather. I will say that they're very comfortable. I don't find myself slipping and sliding. If you have any Christian Louboutins, uh, those, in my opinion, they're tough. Uh, I own a few pairs. I, there's, uh, uh, I do have one pair on my channel. I have others that I need to put up. But I will say, you know, I, I find myself slipping in those. I actually sent mine all off to get some grip added onto the bottoms because I was so afraid that I was just going to wipe out when we were out. But I will say these, I have had no issues with them. Um, you can see that it's starting to kind of get, you know, faded and just, you know, the wear. But again, no issues with them at all. Um, overall, I mean, you can see the inside. I mean, even though I've worn them, you don't see that the Louis Vuitton is fading. But again, like I said, I have not worn these 20 or 30 or 50 times. So maybe over time, they will actually start to wear. If you have these shoes, I would love to hear from you. If they do, if the actual Louis Vuitton name, if that starts to wear over time as you wear them longer. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you some quick model shots of what they look like on. And then I am going to give you my opinion at the end if I really like these, if they're worth it, if it took me a long time to break them in, and if I would recommend them. Okay, so I'm going to do my best to try to show you what these shoes look like on. And don't mind my shorts. I just figured it, that these, these slides would actually look better if I was wearing shorts instead of long you know, jeans or pants. But you can see what they look like on. I mean... I'm trying to stand in the carpet so that you can see them. They stand out a little bit more, but you can see these are super cute. I mean, I've had, you know, I've had them, you know, like I said, for a while now, but they look super, super cute. I mean, this is what they look like from the front. I mean, super, super cute. I'll, I'll turn from the side. But... 
super, super cute. I mean, honestly, I mean, they're super cute. So I don't want to give it away. So I do want to give you guys my honest opinion, but I would love to hear what you think. What do you think about these slides? Are they cute? Are they slides that you may be interested in buying? And if you do have them, I would love to hear the long-term wear. What kind of issues have you faced? Because it would be really good information that we could all share with each other. Because again, I'm not, I'm not the, the expert in everything. And I, again, I've only had these for, for six months or so. So I have not worn them long enough to be able to give you a long, honest review. So I could revisit this video in the future and let you know what I think after I've worn them for you know 20 30 40 times but again I'm going to go ahead now and just let you know what my honest review is so my honest review what do I think of these I think they're absolutely beautiful and super soft and I actually the first time I wore these I was afraid that I was going to have blisters that I actually had tons of band-aids in my bag just in case that happened. But to my surprise, I did not get one blister. I did not have to break these shoes in. And you know what I will say, keep in mind, I am the kind of person where any shoe that I wear, I have to break them in because they always hurt my feet. I always end up with blisters if they're new shoes. Even if they're gym shoes, they still hurt my feet. And I was so surprised that these never hurt my feet. Didn't have to break them in. I had no blisters and they are absolutely comfortable. I would highly recommend them if this is a pair. If you're looking for some slides, these are over the top, I think amazing. I think I'm gonna have a hard time finding another pair that's this comfortable unless I buy another, another pattern, but I love them. I love them. I would highly recommend them. Have no issues. I didn't have to break them in. So I hope that if you're someone who is interested in these and you're thinking about buying them, that hopefully my review was helpful. But I would love to hear some feedback from you guys. What did you think about the slides? Would you buy these? And if you have any, if, if you're someone who actually has them and you've had some wear over time, I would love to hear how the wear has gone and what issues you had with them, if you had any. But again, as usual, thank you so much for visiting my channel and I hope to see you soon.